All right, Professor Klein here, back in the human anatomy and physiology labs at Ohio University. Today I'm joined by Alec Nader. I'm a sophomore here at Ohio University in the nursing program. And Alec's gonna be helping us out with the ear model, the special sense of hearing and balance. So let's take a look. You ready? I'm ready. All right, I'll, I'll get us started. I'll get us kicked off here. And as we describe it, we want to talk about three main areas. The first is the external ear. That really starts from when sound travels into the ear through this tube. The tube is called the auditory tube through the external acoustic meatus in the bone, or that hole that you learned about in the skull. So this auditory tube has a giant funnel. Now this is what we usually think of the ear as, right? We can see these on our, ourselves, these are the ears. That's just only the oracle, which is part of the ear. Now let's say somebody makes a sound or a wild animal makes squaw, a sound squaw, squaw. in the nature, just like that. That was, that was, pretty, that was pretty real, that I was pretty lifelike. I mean, yeah. Those sound waves of that animal would travel in and then hit this membrane. This is called the tympanic membrane. It's like hitting a drum or a snare drum. And when you hit it, it vibrates what's called the middle ear. See these bones in here? One, two, three. Those are the three bones of the middle ear. The first one that's attached to the tympanic membrane is the malleus. The malleus, I'll turn it here for you. See how it's divided by that red line? From the red line over is the inkies. Here's the inkies right here. Now the inkies is technically connected to the last one called the stapes. And we'll pull this up. The stapes has a hole in it and it's connected to the inner ear. So this right here is the inner ear over here as well. Now, these are vibrate. Hold on, we're, whoa, we got some whoa, vibrations going there. on. And that's going to travel through what's on the other side of the stapes, which is the oval window. So think about a window, an opening on the other side of the stapes, traveling in to what we call the bony labyrinth, which has most recognizably the semicircular ducts, and over here, the cochlea. What's this look like to you? Is this? Uh, if, I were, if I were to give it an animal, cochlea? I think I'd give it a snail, maybe. He's sticking with the animal analogies. Yeah, I don't know what's with me today. And I love it, because this does kind of look like the tail or a shell that a snail would sit in. Sometimes people say a cinnamon bun if they're feeling people hungry. Uh, whatever you think of, this is the cochlea. This is where hearing would be received. So those vibrations come in, they travel over to the cochlea, and then they're received. You remember this nerve that they travel out of? Here, I'll test you real quick. What's the name of this yellow nerve? Is it cranial nerve seven? So close, but wrong. Is it eight? Cranial nerve eight is correct. <laughs> That's the, got it right the second time. That's a vestibulocochlear nerve. Vestibulo meaning balance, cochlear, cochlea, hearing. Additionally, see how this inner ear sits within part of the bone? This is the temporal bone of the skull, specifically the petrous part of the temporal bone. Now wait a minute, here's the number 14, and here's the number 14 on the base of the inner ear. That's the round window. The round window is gonna relieve pressure. Ah, relieving pressure, right? And what that means is when pressure builds up in your ears, let's say you're on an airplane or you're driving up a mountain and you have your ears pop, that's relieving of the pressure through the round window or another tube Let's finish with this question. You remember the name of this tube? That be known as the Eustachian tube? That is the Eustachian or the Eustachian 
tube I, itself. So a little <laughs> off on the pronunciation, it's fine, but it's been a semester. <laughs> you you got it correct there. So station tube, which is this one right here, relieving pressure of the inner ear. And that completes your inner or your ear demo.